It's important that you carry your life, throughout your life, you carry it on in a way that holds high standards in the way you look to go and pass that on to your children. And they pass it on to their children. And how we just ensure that that traditional values continue. There's the passion that my grandfather, my great-grandfather have put into the business and you can still feel that in the business now. Each cask of whiskey is like a child. I've got four children. Each one is different. They've come from the same parents, but each one is different. With the family business, the multi-generational approach, what we do today is ultimately going to be sold by my children or the next generation of the family. Gordon and McPhail butelkuje whisky single malt od ponad 118 lat. To prawdziwa skarbnica szkockich trunków. W swych magazynach gromadzi stare beczki, których próżno szukać w murach wielu destylerii. W jednej z najstarszych z nich, o numerze 1369, przez 66 lat leżakowała whisky z destylerii Glen Grant. Gordon and McPhail whose cask this is, they would have sent the cask to Glen Grant Distillery and had it filled um, for their own use. W tym czasie Gordon and McPhail zarządzał John Urquhart, przodek dzisiejszych właścicieli firmy. To on, jako jeden z pierwszych, dostrzegł jakość whisky single malt. The fact that this has survived is down to Gordon and McPhail, who are the only, were then the only company that uh, bottled in individual casks as single malt whiskies. Dziś, dzięki współpracy Wealth Solutions i Gordon and McPhail, whisky Glen Grant z 48 roku trafia do zaledwie 160 butelek, by cieszyć kolekcjonerów i miłośników whisky. Ta limitowana edycja dostępna będzie wyłącznie dla klientów Wealth Solutions. A remarkably perfumed nose and rose floral, really. A lovely texture. Lovely mouthfeel, sweet to start, a little bit of acidity, still fresh, a magnificent whisky. And I'm sure that this whisky, when you think it's sat in the cask for 66 years by the time it's bottled, and you think what has gone on in the last 66 years, a lot of us were not even born then, and it really is quite fascinating to go and think what's happened in the world in that time. A man on the moon, going to Mars, we're next.